New game? New game! Hey, lovely lovians! It is Sister Guard here. Hopefully, y'all having a great day. I am having a great day. We are in today in a brand new game that uh, I saw on the YouTube's, and it is Bloxemon. The reason Sister was interested in doing playing this game is because I like Pokemon. I like other type of monster catching games and that type of thing. And it's something a little bit different on Roblox because we do have Lumen Legacies, but I wanted to go and check this out. I've already kind of played on an alt account for a little bit. And I want to kind of share it with y'all a little beginning guide. So let's get into that normal video intro stuff. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the lovely like button. And do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And our pleb of the day is waiting love. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. What is it with y'all and stick jokes? Jeez. So when you start off, you load into the game. You are in a village. You are a masterful level one. You are going to come over here to Uncle Amon and... Yeah, I know I'm late. I'm always late. That's the joke of the day when I stream. Today is the day. Aren't you excited to start a journey that I once did many years ago? Kid, you look younger than me. Okay, we're supposed to go over to the academy. And tell trainer Daniel that Uncle Amon says hello. Okay, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so first thing I absolutely love about this game is it has a GPS feature. Sister gets lost in the games that don't have this feature. Okay, I am big pleb. I am directionally coordinated. And coordinated. That word, yes. Okay, so we're going to go over here. We're going to go talk to trainer Daniel. Hello, sister guard. My name is Daniel. Like, yes, help me on my journey. Yes, go inside. Okay, I'm supposed to go in here. I thought we were going together, dude. Are we going together? No, okay, I'm going by myself. Okay. Well, cool. so this is where we're going to pick our first Bloxymon. Some are weaker than others, so this is the Earth one. Um, this is actually the one if you're going to start playing the game for the first time. I would recommend picking Grums. Just, it's really easy to start with. Here's Bird. Bird. I'm, I'm confused on how nature is strong against electric, but okay, whatever. And then there's Cute. Oh, it looks like Elvis. Really derpy Elvis. It's great. Apparently cute is resistant to dark and physical. Well, I wouldn't want to punch that thing either. I'd feel bad, man. Okay. Okay, we're going to go after our lovely little rock. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're going to complete a lot of quests. I'm going to show you all how to get an absolute ton of stuff. Just FYI, Z. I want you. You not let me pick. Game. Oh, there you go. Choose Grumps. Rumble. Rumble, rumble. Okay. Real talkative. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of stuff on screen, guys. I'm going to kind of break this down. This has to do with the number. This has to do with its health. That's a good number. Um, we got a battle points or battle power. Sometimes it's referred to as 78. It's our stuff with a bunch of different abilities. So we get Sandy Slap and Mud Slap. Mud Slide. And we have grades. So grades refer to how good it is. And the more that these stars are filled up, the better that they are. So this one's actually really good being the start of the third star. And of course we can see how big it is and whatever. And he follows us around. So he's a beefy boy. Great choice. Thank you. Okay. Go find Ava. Okay. And we're going to fight him first. So this game is basically, it's a slash clicker slash interactive game. So we're going to hit it go over and smack, smack it. So after you've hit it so many times by clicking on the screen, you can do a special ability. And you have to swipe at the bubbles. So all you're doing is just moving your mouse back and forth. I don't think this is on mobile or on Xbox, unfortunately. But it's still a really fun game. Okay. You won the battle. And we got a bunch of stuff. Cool. So in the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a couple things. You're going to see this little heal icon. Don't push that right now. You're going to see an evolve thing. So your lovely Bloxymon have the ability to evolve if you give them so many of candy and amber. Amber is kind of the currency that you run around with. And the candy, you can get more candy by actually defeating Bloxymon at the same time. So it's real simple. So we're going to go do quests. So what I'm going to recommend is follow the quest exactly. Don't do anything extra because it's not really worth it. So we're gonna come over here to Ava and she is, we gotta talk to her. 
Hello, my name is Ava. I first year did Black Spoon Daniel. I'm going to teach you how to... Okay, yes. You're going to teach me the fundamentals. You have a quick attack and special attack to defeat your foes. You want to get them down to zero. So I'm going to teach you all some other stuff on top of that. So what you're going to do when you start on off is you're going to want to go find... We have to go defeat one Black Spoon. I'm on a private server right now, so I don't know if they've spawned in. So what they're going to do is they're going to spawn in the grass. So it's really kind of simple. So we just had a couple spawn in. There's a poodle. I'm looking for more rock guys. Because I really want more rock guys. So we're going over here to Grums. We found another Grums. So we're gonna we're gonna defeat him quite easily. Quite easily. Because he's only battle power 29. We're 78. We're pro. And we're gonna do mudslide. So mudslide's also really easy because it's just simply going back and forth with your cursor. I missed one. Don't judge me. And we're going to already defeat him. You won the battle. You're going to get a bunch of rewards. And because we fought a Grums, we got candy for Grums, which is what we really want. And we have overall leveled up, and it gave us a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not even going to move. This is the items. You get an absolute ton of items in this game. So this is under their shop menu. They have a bunch of different stuff in the shop. You get double amber, double luck, double candy. They have different boosters if you're wanting to farm stuff. And you have boxes that just contains like, two of every berry, stuff like that. Uh, I haven't really found a need for that yet. So, but I will, if I do more content on this, I will let y'all know. Okay, so we have done exactly what she says. We're going to run right back over to her. We're not going to stop and do anything else. We're running right back over to her. I'm talking to you. Yes, okay. I already have a few capture devices. Cool. And we get a revive fruit. Revive fruit is really nice because if your guy goes down, you're actually able to revive them. So if you see at the bottom of my screen, we now have enough of little amber thingies. So once I get enough amber, I could actually evolve this guy, but I need more canvas. The other thing that's going to spawn in naturally in the world is these little chests. And they'll be kind of randomly all over the place. And these are super great because you can pop them open and you get random rewards. Like I just got to capture this, some green grapes, and some amber. Super easy. Okay, we are looking for... Not a rock boy. We're actually looking for a cow. The reason I'm looking for a cow... There you go. It's because we I haven't seen that I needed him for a later quest. So this guy's super beefy. What we're looking for is down here in this catch menu. So we are actually wanting to see how it's orange right now. We do not want to attempt to catch this right now because it will likely not work. What we're going to wait for is wait for it to go to green. Because when the circle goes green, that means it's super easy to catch the guy. Super, super easy. Yeah, Sisters had a lot of fun playing this game, so he is now easier to catch. So I'm going to throw a box at him. Stay in the box. Stay in the box. You didn't stay in the box. Oh, and he got away. Oh, no. So I'll just go look for another one. We do even get rewards even if we lose. So I'm going to go and heal him because he needs to get all healed up. So And there's more of an area to explore. Oh, we just missed that chest. Sad day. Sad day. As you can see off in the distance, there is more quest givers. There is a lot of content already released. So one of the cool things about this is I actually liked a lot more, like, when I started playing Lumen, is they didn't release that much content to start. Oh, I had to be level 4 to go there. I'm sorry. Excuse me. And another really interesting thing is if it's this little drop down here, you can drop, but you cannot walk back up. So just keep that in mind when you're walking around. I'm going to go over and grab this chest. It's free. Reload. Yeah, yeah, we got more grapes because we just healed anyways, so that's actually really nice. I want cows. Cows, please. And stuff does despawn and respawn as you walk on by. So I really want a cow. Give me a minute, I'm going to go find a cow. Okay, I found another copa. I found another copa. Hopefully he stays in here now. Stay in the chest. There we go. So we did catch him. So the reason I wanted to catch... One of these guys is there a little bit harder, and he is nature and physical. He is the first two typing I've seen. He's not a good star rating, though. That's sad. But we did get a ton of XP, and you do get stuff whether you catch them or whether you not. And also, if you lose a battle, you still are getting stuff, which I think is really nice. That's that's super nice. Okay, I'm going to go talk to the lady. Awesome. Cool, you need to upgrade and evolve them. So she's giving me candies so I can evolve grums. All right, Grums, evolve. Grumstar! Okay, so we have Grumstar now. So he is very beefy. 
So I can go over and talk to her. So she actually gives you most of the candies as long as you've defeated a few. Now these guys do have another evolution and we got a couple of rare capture things. So that's really nice. You have a daily quest for me. Cool. Upgrade five times. So what is talking about by upgrade? So our main Grumstar, our main guy, uh, he comes up fully upgraded so we cannot upgrade him anymore. However, this Kappa, once we get 30 of them, we can upgrade him. He's only 37% upgraded, which means we can make him even better. This is something I know in like Pokemon Go you were able to do. So it's actually really cool that it it's 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 a lot like that. And I like going into the town because it kind of tells you where you're at. So we're going to go talk to this guy right here, the village elder. Cool. He's going to give us a quest. We're going to go over and talk to the monks. We're going to go get a lot of quests here real quick. And this is kind of why I was like, hold off. Don't, don't, don't do anything first. There's a reason for that. So he's going to give us a quest to get one Mudber. Or Bermrod. We got to go get one Grims and talk. Talk to me. Cool. And we need to go get one Puppetor. So that's all three of the starters, which even if it doesn't matter what you pick to begin with, you're able to get them later on. So here's one of the stores. You can get Grums candy and Kappa candy. So you can get tokens. No, I don't want tokens. So you can buy more tokens. This way, we are not going to be buying any tokens. No. So you're going to try and remain Robux free. So there is a little store where you can buy stuff for amber, like revival fruit, green grapes, purple grapes, which help heal, or rare devices for a thousand amber. You can, however, if you keep looking for chests, it's super easy. It's super easy. If you're just walking around looking for chests, you will get a ton of resources. And there actually is one more thing I kind of wanted to show y'all. I don't know if we can get to that area though. Oh, that cob is tiny. That cob is tiny. We're doing 28 damage to this thing. No, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. There we go. A little itty bitty one. Aw. So we're gonna go over here. Yeah, sister realized you can jump over the fences leading down, so did not know that. So you cannot go into the next little area until you have gained the trust of the elders. So we gotta go kill more things. So I'm gonna pause y'all for a minute. And I'm going to go get some lovely little petsies so I can go take it back to them, to the elders, and I'll show you all where to go from there. Okay, so I got all three of the ones we needed to complete that quest. It was really simple. Just go up, smack them in the head. But we're back in the village, so I can go turn this quest in to the elders. And he's going to give us yet another quest. And we're going to get a lot of rewards. You're going to get a lot of amber for this. And... They're wanting us to evolve them, so we actually should have enough. Let me talk to you. Lab, let me talk to you. There we go. Okay. Yay, he's so excited. He got a poopadar. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And the other thing you can do is there are these shrines of nature. Prayers grant me gifts. So all you do is pray at the altar. And I got capture devices and purple grapes. And I think it's, what's the timer? I know there's ones out in the wild that have like a three hour timer. So you can always go back and go get some more. So to give you an idea, I've been playing for like 20 minutes. I already have 28 capture devices, tons of green grapes, candy grapes. If you do a blacksmith and award extra candy after a fight, that one's actually really good. Reroll to give you a new special attack. Refill all your current HP. Oh, nice. Quick attack. Give them a new quick attack so you can change their stuff out if you don't like them because i understand some people don't got some good stuff all right we're gonna go on over here nope don't sit at the bench i don't want to sit there so we have assisted the village elders and we get some more ember and that so we're gonna go all right we gotta go talk to the lady we're gonna go talk to a lady Meow. wish they had sprint go talk so we do have to do a battle in order to get to the other side of the fence, but it's a versus an electric type, and because we've picked the earth type to start and using as our main, he should be a pretty easy fight. When you snare, hopefully we don't die. So snare has different bubbles, as you can see. They all have kind of a different little thing you have to do. Oh, 
Oh no, we were defeated, but we still won. So. So if you do die, unfortunately, you do have to go get revived. So all you do is go back into the little, like, center thing. You go up to the lady. Go, heal my pets. Heal my pets. Cool. So he is now revived. We can go back and do the fight again. And this time be victorious. I'll go ahead and heal him up real quick. All right. And we got the little little bitty electric bug down. That's very fierce. This is very fierce. So we're going to go over. And in literally the second area, one, there's a ton more Bloxymon you can go and get. Some of them look pretty cool. Like there's one over there. I don't know what it's doing. But it's also one of the worship shrines is here. So every three hours you can come and get rewards. Which is really actually super nice. There's like a little zapping bird right there. There's a bug. And there's a ton more areas to get to. Yes, we went and talked to the lady. And we are now level 4. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little long. Oh lord, I'm leveling up more. Uh, <laughs> so... Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm probably going to keep playing after I'm done recording. So <laughs> thank you for making this part of the video. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.